So what causes a broken brain? Now, most of us never learn how to manage our own health. We don't get an instruction manual when we're born. We don't get a guidebook. We don't have help <laughs> like we do with our apps, help section. And we basically fumble our way through and we try to use all sorts of practices we think might be helping us, but they're actually harming us. We eat too much sugar to get energy. We drink too much caffeine. We have too much alcohol and we manage our emotions and our mental state through self-medication, sometimes even worse drugs. And we use it to manage our minds and our moods, but we don't connect these behaviors with how crappy we feel. <laughs> so the key insight here is that your brain is not just this disembodied organ that is sitting in your skull connected from the rest of what's going on in your body. We learned about the blood-brain barrier in medical school, but that's ridiculous. The brain is constantly interacting, communicating with everything going on in your body. Yes, you have a blood-brain barrier, but it's not like it's something that's just inviolable. It, it's permeable and things go across and impact it. 